Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back to the wonderful world of the beautiful Doc Detective, the secret salami, where today, today, we are going to go ahead and find out what happened to the lunch. But before that, I think in the last video, I mentioned, like, where did we get the name Manfred? And it's from Laura itself. Um, Laura was the one who, like, um, it's like, man, uh, Manfred, it was the yellow, and then, like, give me a raise. So I had to go back. I actually talked to everyone again. I mean, where was that? Because it's not in our list of clues, but I had to find that out. So with that being said, everyone, welcome back. Welcome back. Today, today, we will solve the case. So let's go ahead and finally enter the kitchen where the crime scene is taking place. As soon as I entered the kitchen, the <gasps> comforting waft of cheap white toast entered my nostrils. Wow. <sighs> Breathe it in, everyone. Breathe it in. I, this wasn't what I was here for. Stop eating the icing. I, icing on bread? Can't you wait a couple hours? What? Is that a repairman? Margaret, if it wasn't <gasps> for these pants almost bursting... I'd have this for breakfast every day. Oh. Yes, yes. And you can have it and so much more later when we're done preparing. Husband and wife? And she's not working? She's treating this area like her house? Hmm. Oh, yeah, we had to talk to her. Okay. Hmm. Okay, detective hats on everyone. Detective hats. Halloween party, all right, so this is taking near Halloween, unless it's as old and they're lazy, then... Oh, canceled! Oh, budget cuts. Hungry, get your lunch, get your own lunch. Angry note, hungry. Uh, looking for editor, unpaid, oh boy, and a beautiful post-it note drawing. Office parties are a bad idea anyway. Is that a cup of noodles in a box? They stopped doing them at the precinct after the, uh, ja jam incident. <laughs> elaborate, please. Elaborate. I, I, I'm going look at everything first. Ooh, a sandwich. A Margaret. This is hers. This is the first name. And then we got Bear Paw, so that's probably the branch manager. Thank for the food, Salami Bandit. What? Handprint, greasy, sharp claws. Only one that has sharp claws is... Uh, we have the cat. We have the crocodile. We have the bear. Giraffes don't have sharp claws. Note, thief. Salami Bandit. Okay. So, this must be the Someone crime stole scene. stole food. Whose food this did it stole, though? Curious. Oh, wait, what? I didn't even look at the note. What is it? Thanks for the food, so, okay. Gross. I know, how do you, how, I don't understand why people do this. I doubt they wash their hands after leaving no. the greasy look, hand Look at print. that big paw print. All right, uh, let's go talk to Margaret first so we can go ahead and um, add her to the list. Yes, dear. I'm Eugene McQuacklin, detective, and I need to ask some questions. Yeah. A detective? How exciting! Are you my client? What's the most gruesome murder you've seen? Wait, I have questions for you. How many dead bodies have you encountered? Uh, five little pigs, teething turtles leave. Five little pigs. No one died, but I investigated a case once where five little like pigs this. robbed a bank. Caught them red-handed and got myself an article in the Goose Times. They called it the piggy bank case. Adorable. Did someone get shot? Hmm. What? No! Beaten up? Whoa. Uh, no. No. Hmm. Not exciting for her? Huh. Oh, that was it? Okay, uh. She, she a lamb, so she doesn't have claws. Tan line divorced. Oh. She likes cooking. Okay. What do you think of Sophie Windheimer? She doesn't have the easiest life, you know. Okay, so I don't think she's the thief then. She just had a terrible breakup with her ex. Okay. But don't tell anyone. Wait, on her birthday? Oh boy. 
Can you tell me anything about Laura Angst? Oh, she's such a hard-working girl. I heard she secretly studies <gasps> for her online bachelor's during work. Oh, she is dedicated. You need to keep this a secret, though. She knows a lot of secrets, everyone. She knows a lot. Do you know anyone here who could have hired me? Hmm. To be honest, everyone was quite shocked by the lunch theft. That's horrible. I don't know why people steal lunches. And no one told me they've called a detective. I don't know what's going on at all. I like that. I like the move, word moving. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, I think that's it. Okay. Uh, we know who she is. Okay. And we got Margaret. And then we got Whitlock. All right. And then... So we have two more, so is this the, no, this guy's a repairman, where's the driver? Nice hat. Oh. Worker shoes, practical person, okay. An A, a sticker, sci-fi fan, oh. Toolbox, janitor, okay. Dishwasher's broken again. Oh, is it clogged? Watch the pipes. What's wrong with these youngsters? I don't know. I don't know. Don't know how to treat things with respect. Mm -hmm. Why would they put the mugs in face up? Uh, wait, 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 wait. In, in the dishwasher or in the sink? If it's in the sink, it means they're they're soaking it. Although you're in a work office, so you got you gotta wash your own stuff. What is your relationship with Margaret Whitlock? Are they dating? Ah, she's a true sweetheart. Hmm. We have our weekly mahjong evenings. Oh, nice. Nice. What about the bear? Do you get along with Manfred Ernst? So he can't be the culprit because he doesn't have claws. Hmm. I think. No, no, no they don't have claws. I do respect that. So, yeah, it's any of the carnivores right now. Would you say you enjoy Freddy Fredersen's? <laughs> I don't like uh, Freddy's uh, company, right? Company. Huh. Huh. <laughs> if anyone needs to learn to respect their elders, it's that moron. Oh boy. Oh boy. Did you I'm hire me? I'm a private detective, and I'm here to investigate a case. Is that so, so? After this, there's two more rooms, right? Something outside, and then the server room. I need to find my client. Do you know who it could be? I don't know. Uh, Freddy's a bit of a weird one, so I'd imagine he would call a oh. detective. Personally, I feel we're doing just fine. And don't need no messing about our business mm. around here. Okay, that tone changed. Alright, can we deduct? But I'm missing one. Hi oh, I don't know who hired a duck because his or her uh, lunch was... Stolen by a co-worker known as the bandit thief salami bandit. All right, so we don't know who hired us All right, everyone. I put the name in. Yeah, so it's Rufus. Um, so the Latin is Petrov It's the it's the driver. We haven't met that one yet, but yeah, okay we, We're missing one clue though. Are you getting along with Rufus Sedaris? You know, so Rufus is the, the two of us of the are from the older generation which means we understand each other well. He is quite harsh towards the younger ones, though. It has me, it has me out here, then. Yeah! I ran around. Okay. So this is the Petrov. The cold air ruffled my feathers. And I wondered what kind of sorry soul was standing all alone in the rain. So, okay, so there's basically four, four of them now, okay. As in under the spotlight, I will solve the mur to murder the one who's. Someone left the their lunch. bag here. Ugh, it's full of dirty chim clothes. Ah, duffel bag, get. Yeah. This is Petro. Well, proportional, handsome. Boris Petro. Embroidered first name, Boris. Hand in pocket, bad manners. Oh, I thought he had a hand behind the back. Oh. Hey, man, this isn't the bus stop. Oh. 
You'll have to walk south to the central bus station. What? What? I'm not here to take a <laughs> bus. <laughs> what? What do you think of Sophie Windheimer? <sighs> uh oh. Man, I wish she'd let me talk to her. <gasps> Do you like her? Do you, um, like Freddy Frederson? No. He's a pretty funny dude. Oh. Loves to rant about detective novels. He had my book. What do you know about Rufus Sedaris? I don't think he likes me very much, to oh. be honest. Why? But then, doesn't feel like he likes anyone at this office. He's, he's the old one, older generation. Mm, except for Margaret, I guess. Do you think they have a thing going on? I, that's what I thought. <sighs> I don't work here. <laughs> I thought you were a detective. <laughs> that's true, that's true. I'm investigating a case here at Bearbus. Oh, uh, do you mean the lunch that got stolen? Did you call me? Exactly. You know who called me? Nah, too busy minding oh, my own business. Hmm. I don't talk much with the customer service folks. Oh, hint, hint. Do you know anything about this bag? Oh, it's really strange. What? Things in it disappeared. So and I'm... others appeared. What? Very suspicious. Like, like all magic? What are you even talking about? That's what I'm thinking. Is this your bag? No. 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 <sighs> Everyone here is being really unhelpful. All right. Okay. And then. <gasps> Wait, we don't know who hired me. Okay, this guy is Boris Petrovic. What kind of a person is Boris Petrovic? Ugh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I saw in him. <gasps> I mean, I guess he's good looking. Oh, but, 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 but my God, is he boring? Oh. Okay, so boring man. I think it's Laura that called us, right? Okay, there's nothing there. She, he, cause he says something about customer service. Laura is the only one in customer service. Do you get along with Boris Petrovich? He's a chill guy. I take the bus sometimes to go to bouldering conventions, and then we get to chat. Okay. Learning from everybody, learning from everyone. Some stuff I don't trust. It's beautiful. Oh. Do you know whose bag this is? Isn't that oh. Freddy's? Freddy? Oh my goodness. Do you know anything about this bag? Why are you going around pushing bags into people's faces? I didn't push it in your face. Ugh, what's that awful smell? The bowling clothes that Freddy mentioned. It's, uh, dirty gym clothes. What can you tell me about Boris Petrovich? He's, uh, oh. not the most reliable worker. He's one of the best drivers. Yeah, but it's difficult oh. finding replacements nowadays. Wow, we haven't got the other three drivers. Is this your bag? Huh? No, mine's over there. <laughs> he took the wrong bag. The one with all the salami? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Why do you need so much salami? Oh, questions. That's not mine. Wait, what? It was just there. Freddy, Freddy, you're killing me, man. A really nice surprise. <laughs> you, kid, you took the wrong bag, Freddy. Okay. The client. Uh, Laura's the only one in, in, um, uh, customer service, so she's the one who called. So it was Laura who called me. I needed to discuss the case with her. You're my client? Why didn't you tell me? Quiet now. Can I put you on hold for a second? Ugh, what? <laughs> well, you should have told me you're the duck detective. I did. What are you? I'm a duck. <laughs> I'm wearing a trench coat. So, is Freddy getting fired or what? We don't, he, we don't know he's a thief. <sighs> I'm uh, working on it. Camera, server room. Ugh. It can't be that hard. Wait, why would I be the one firing? Wouldn't it be your boss? Sorry, I'm back. Yes, let me walk you through the booking process. Oh. Oh, more suspects. Oh. Uh... 
Margaret the sheep works in customer service. The penguin is uh, Rufus and works as the janitor. Uh, Boris is a bus driver. Yeah. Now that I had everyone's name and job, it would be easier to figure out what was going on. It was time that I found out what happened with the lunch theft. And what they were planning in the kitchen. Hmm. Oh, oh, we have everything already. Oh, the kitchen is planning a... Uh... Oh my goodness. Wait, what? This is so much words. Oh, uh, Sophie, something is planning a surprise birthday party because she's making them this frosting. Margaret is planning a boom because she's baking. She's baking. Margaret was planning a surprise birthday party for Sophie. I see. No. <laughs> he didn't actually just, um, forget her birthday. It's just a little late. Is being framed, heard, seen, stolen, suspicious by because picked up the bag. Picked up the wrong right bag. Wrong bag. Oh, no, no, no. Wrong bag. Um, wait, something is being something by something because something picked up the wrong bag uh freddy picked up the wrong bags freddy wait, no no what's this oh something is being heard frame seen stolen suspicious by because freddy picked up okay is this boris freddy okay so two okay so these freddy is being something Freddy's being suspicious by oh suspicious by Boris because Freddy picked up the wrong bag. Freddy is being framed by is not Boris Freddy Laura? Laura? No. The salami bandit because Freddy okay, I I'm getting I like it. It I, was as I thought. I'm not gonna lie, if it's just like a one time thing, I I would have failed that. Freddy Frederson was actually being framed. Okay, he grabbed the wrong bag. <laughs> this office wasn't as boring as it looked. When Freddy took the bus back, okay. and he went to pick up his luggage, he took the wrong bag. He must have picked up the wrong bag. The salami bandit. This happened because there was another bag that's identical to his. The bag that oh. he picked up belonged to... The salami bandit. The salami bandit! So it's not Freddy. This made him a target. And to get rid of Freddy, the salami bandit decided to frame him. Hmm. Everyone, it's time for you know what? Who can it be then? Can it be the bear? Okay, get into position. Why am I in here? I just texted her, so she should be here in a... Huh? What's this? Happy birthday! Surprise! Oh, this is a surprise. Oh, there's a surprise! Uh, no way. This is all for me? Present! <gasps> Kitty cat! Sup? Salami? Huh? A letter? Ugh. What? Oh. Why? Uh, uh. Salami? What a terrible present. <laughs> Freddy! No, you silly idiot! The real present got stolen and switched for salami! <gasps> it's the Salami Bandit! Someone stole a present? I saw an awful lot of high grade salami in Freddy's bag. It's not Freddy. Bag. And now there's no question who the perpetrator is. Laura just hates Freddy. I've been telling you all along, we Could can't trust Frederson. By the end of the day, he'll be fired. Mark my words. Oh my goodness, Laura. Seems like a bit of an overreaction mm -hmm. to a present being stolen. Or is there more to it? There is more, buddy. Let's find these presents first. Someone gifted Sophie a plushie. A kitty cat plushie? So that's Laura, right? It says, <gasps> limited edition. 
It's just a cookie. It's a heart-shaped necklace. Hmm. So I want all oh, this has to be from Boris then. <laughs> Looks tacky. Has to be from Boris. Uh alien book. It's a heart-shaped oh. necklace. <laughs> oh. Oh. What the sexy aliens want? Want my number by sulfur shride. So this is from um this is Margaret. It's the hint in our on our computer. So I'm not gonna read all this, everyone. I'm not gonna read all this. Cause it, it, it's quite a bit. Six hundred and twenty-one pages and I don't know oh my goodness. I'm not gonna oh. read that. Oh god. What did I just read? So this is from Margaret. And then the bandit. Bon, buongiorno, everyone. Not just Sophie, everyone. Uh, quite unbelievable. I entered the office really easily. LOL. Sarana. Oh. Salami. Edge Lords. Edge Lords? What? I wonder what the purpose of that letter is. Hmm. Okay. Birthday letter. Okay. Do you think she liked my present? The plushie. I mean, now she's crying, but I think I saw a sparkle in her eyes when she <laughs> opened mine. I should really get back to work. Letter. Can you tell me something about this letter? Sophie won't even talk to me about it. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Okay. Sophie, how are you feeling? <laughs> Come It'll for her. Be okay. You have the duck detective here to figure everything out. <laughs> uh -huh. What can you possibly do? I'm trying to help. <laughs> Leave me alone. Ah. Oh, all clues are done. What do you think about this letter? <clears throat> People don't know how to write letters by hand anymore. By computer. What's with the weird line breaks? Oh, I did not recognize that. So. <laughs> oh yeah, he likes the cake. What happens to the cake now? Cake. Freddy. Fredster. <laughs> they, they really think I've done it. You, you took the wrong bag off my Duck Detective, you have to help me. Someone's framing him. You, you, you know it wasn't me, right? The bag. Did you not think it was strange that your bag was full of salami? Uh, uh, I don't know. I thought someone gave me a salami surprise. What about your clothes? I'll eat salami sandwiches for breakfast, lunch, and dinner from now on. Oh, you're going to not like that eventually. <sighs> Maybe it was I too knew romantic. His necklace. Did Sophie ask about me? Uh, no, no. Um, she didn't. Ah, I see. I see. Maybe I should have gotten her something more expensive. But, but she's, she, she hasn't asked because she's in a, a heartbreaking moment right now. What is this? Custom procedure for passengers entering from the west border. Oh, importing. Uh, personal items worth less than 500 shemucks. Allowed good. Prohibited. Weapons and salon and food, food, food. Tr ten tr What? Why ten? Meat, potatoes, uh, books not interested in Eastern plants. Luggage will be checked at the bus station. Oh. Wait, what? Place. Brizzo. What do they have against potatoes? I have no clue. I think that's it, right? Wait, 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 the boss, the boss. Do you know anything about this letter? Well, it's obviously a cheap prank by Fredderson. How I'm suspicious of Manfred. Only he would find this funny. They're like all piling on in him. I'm guessing you're ready to present legal evidence of Fredderson's misconducts. And now he's saying Fredderson, so uh, you are Mr. Suspicious to me. It wasn't Fredderson. Everything is pointing towards <gasps> him. I think it is him. I will present the true culprit soon enough. I think it is him. Well, I don't really care how long it takes you. 
But why though? This will be Frederson's last day. Is it because Frederson took the wrong? Oh yeah, he said um, it's gonna frame him. All right. Uh, Sophie received the following present from her colleague: a plushie from Laura, a book from Margaret, a necklace from Boris, and got stolen. A uh, book, bag, book, cake, letters. And oh wait. I don't know what got stolen. Hold on, hold on. Let's do this one first. Wait, wait. I'm missing one. Am I supposed to do this one first? Um. Okay. Uh. Wait. Is it Laura? Or everyone. Laura received something that contains at that. Bop, bop. Uh. It says. Am I missing something from this one? I don't know what gift is missing then. And I think I talked to everyone, right? Is it Manfred? Nope. Rufus? Rufus? So, nothing got stolen after all. It seemed that the salami present was intentional. Ah. Sophie received a silly letter that contained a... Silly? No? Uh, nice? Oh no! Scary? Okay. Sophie was receiving threats! Okay. I needed to find out why. Oh! <gasps> okay, check her desk, I guess. There's nothing at her desk! I'm missing a clue! I have 15 out of the 16! Salamis are being, I yeah, I'm missing this clue right here. Be imported from Brez. Okay, oh, let's go outside. All right, all right. Oh, complaint, Lord. Can the oh, oh please clean out their desk? I can smell into oh, message complaining. Okay, Sophie. Friends. Okay, so they're friends. Okay. Uh, space alien. Uh, um, uh, she, he is serious. What a dumb pen name. It's just his name backwards. Wait, what? Where, where, where's his name? <gasps> Hold on. You definitely don't want to be Laura's. So it's talking about the alien. So it's purple. Eyed alien, I think it is. Um, it did talk about armored, purple eyed alien. Boom. So the I um, cracked it. It's the only one that's. There's like a bunch of aliens. They're blue eyes, but that one had purple eyes, and it stepped forward and it talked to whoever the main one is, and that. Can I get your number? Let's see what secret she has on her computer. All right. Delete everything, cutie. Delete everything. What? Delete data, illegal activity, accomplice, <gasps> illegally. Wait, where have we got illegally? That explains all the high-grade salami. Yeah. I it's just from the needed to find out to who was behind stops. this. The mystery of the salami bandit was slowly getting unraveled. Western goods are prohibited from entering and being sold in the East. How did it get in? This is why the Salami Bandit decided to make a business out of buying high-grade salami in the West. Smuggling it to the East. And selling it at a high profit. Also, for some reason, Sophie received a letter framed? from the Salami no, wait, Bandit. That, that, there's two people being framed. That had a <gasps> hidden, threatening message. I, I did not. I did not see that. This was serious. I had to question all of the employees. Oh boy! Thanks for coming, everyone. Well, everyone except for Sophie. Where is she? Yeah. Slacking off, playing on her computer phone, like <laughs> usual. Hello, author. She's having problems with her family. Best friend, probably. Or she was at friend. her desk and said she needed a moment. 
<clears throat> I will start then regardless. I have made my deductions and drawn some serious conclusions. Oh, finally! Is Freddy. Freddy getting fired then? Freddy's innocent, just really lazy and um, not cooperative. Who is the murderer? The murderer? I... What? What? The... No one died! I'm getting framed! I'm telling you! I know. What a load of baloney. <laughs> he is right. Right, actually. He is getting framed. What? <laughs> Why would anyone bother? <laughs> I think she needs a little break. Ah, that is the question, isn't it? Why would anyone bother? Because he picked up the salami. If he did not pick it up, then he would not be in his position. <laughs> Get to the point. It's through my observations that I uncovered a conspiracy. Bom, bom, bom. <gasps> I like Margaret. This is ridiculous. Why are we still listening to a random duck that mm. waddled into this office? But it has to be the carnivore one because that's claws, right? Unless it's a accomplice. I'm leaving. Oh. Questions? Questions? I'm a certified private investigator and... It's okay. Just tell us what you know. <sighs> Salami is being smuggled from Salsicia using your very own buses. Yep, and then being sold once it gets to a certain point. Huh? For money. What's going on? Okay, this is going too far. I really have more important things to do. Now, yeah, my peak is him. He's saying, okay, now get the that information. that is really scandalous. Then once we give it to him, he's like, I'm gonna leave. Mm, these two that left. Okay, top priority. Does that mean we're losing our jobs? Yes. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, no, wait, 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 what? No, no. Ah! Oh, boy. I, I think Margaret's innocent. Listen, everybody. It's really important that no one leaves the premises. How much money do they get? I need get? to get back to work. Buying the salami, smuggling it in, and then selling it. It has to be someone in the work uh, area because... Hmm. Hmm. Freddy's innocent. Oh. Everybody's leaving? I think Boris is innocent too. Freddy, you, you, you want a piece of cake? Wait, we can't eat the cake. Oh. Hello? I, I'm still here. <laughs> Mr. Duck Detective? <laughs> Thank you, Freddy. Mm, yeah. Alright, everyone. With that being said, I am going to go ahead and mark it there. Join me next time where potentially it might be where we find who the bandit is. But as of now, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the boss. But I can be wrong because he does look a little suspicious now. So with that being said, everyone, have an awesome day and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.